Grab your pen and paper, because today I'm going to teach you how to calculate your own macros. Welcome back, I'm Tammy from Fit Healthy Mama, where we help you live a fit, healthy life. All right, let's jump right in. So if you're just getting started with macros, be sure you go and watch the first couple of videos I did in this series where we talk all about what macros are and how to use macros, how to calculate macros. But you can't calculate your macros unless you have some macro targets. So today I wanna to talk about how you would go about hand calculating your very own macros so that you can get some targets that are consistent with the goals that you have personally. So step one is going to be to calculate your basal metabolic rate. Now your basal metabolic rate is going to be the amount of energy your body needs to support your basic life functions. So this is basically, if you were to just lay in bed all day long, how much energy would your body burn without you moving or doing anything? So these are just the energy that gets burned, um, just supporting life functions, having your organs move, things like that. So that number is going to be calculated using this formula here on this slide. Pay attention to the fact that there is a difference between the men and women, so be sure you're using the correct multipliers in order to get your BMR. Okay, now that you have your BMR, we're now gonna take that number and we're going to calculate our TDEE, which is your total daily energy expenditure. So the TDEE takes into account your BMR, which is your, again, basal metabolic rate, how much energy your body would just burn at rest, having doing no activity, and it also pairs it with your actual activity. So your steps, your workouts, all the movement that you do throughout your day. So again, this slide is going to show you how to calculate that number. And you're gonna take a look at those activity multipliers and choose the one that best suits you right now. Don't put too much weight into this. Just choose the one that best matches your average movement every day and use that as a starting point. Okay, now that you've calculated your TDEE, we are now ready to determine your specific macro targets. So for reference, your TDEE is going to be the amount of energy that your body needs coming in to maintain your current body weight. So if your goal was to maintain where you're currently at, you would wanna eat around that number of calories per day. If your goal is to lose weight, you're gonna to need to eat below that number because we're gonna to wanna to be in a calorie deficit, meaning we're eating less than what our body needs Therefore, your body will let go of fat. If you're in a phase where you want to gain weight, you are going to need to consume calories higher than your TDEE. So keep that in mind and determine what your goal is for right now. And then we can go ahead and get your specific macro targets based on that goal. So we can calculate our protein, carbs, and fats based on what it is we're trying to accomplish. There's a range with each one of our macros. There isn't a specific calculation. It doesn't have to be as straightforward as you might think. You can play around a little bit with the ranges and know that you can tailor those to your goals and that your goals will change as you go throughout your journey. So you might just go ahead and get started with a standard macro breakdown of 45% protein, 30% carbs, and 25% fats. That's been a standard macro breakdown. You can start there, or you can play around a little bit with your macros. And let's say you're somebody who enjoys a more carb-heavy diet, or you uh, train a lot, you're gonna need more carbs in your diet. You would use a higher multiplier in order to get your carb percentage to where it's tailored to your goals. So use this slide and these multipliers to determine what range you need to be in for each of your three macros, protein, carbs, and fats, and they will add up to your total uh, calories that you have for each day. All right, so hopefully I didn't lose you there, but if I did and you need to see this written out in a more a, uh, concise manner, you're in luck because I have a complete downloadable guide that I will link in the description box for you. You can print it off or you can do it online um, and just go ahead and enter in all that information. I spell out um, exactly what all of these numbers are and how they play into the equation. And you should be able to get some really good starting uh, place, starting macros for you to begin your journey with macros. Now, if you don't wanna calculate your own macros and that just sounds way too confusing, there are of course other options. You can go online and do a quick Google search for a macro calculator, and you can enter in some basic information and it will spit back some macro targets for you 
that tends to be a good place to start. Again, if you are new to macros, just having that starting place is going to be so valuable. You can then, as you get started and you start tracking, you can make tweaks and changes that will more tailor your macros to your specific goals and lifestyle. And lastly, if you want a real uh, done for you solution, I highly recommend downloading an app like the First Form app. This is what I use and this does your macros for you. They do an awesome job with it. Um, again, they're asking you to plug in some of the same information and it's going to spit back those numbers for you. And inside the app, you get to choose if you are more, uh, carb preference, fat preference, your activity multipliers, it's all done there for you. And you can count on those numbers to be very accurate. And again, an amazing place to start on your macro journey.